Hello, brethren. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the judgment. It's not a warning. It's a judgment from the Most High. In just a moment, please. This is dated from uh, yesterday. Or actually, I'm uploading it today, but it was uh, given yesterday, January 17th, 2022. Start time was 1.38 Pacific Standard Time, 1.38 p.m. Ended 1.42 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Again, January 17th, 2020 to begins it's a prophetic direct judgment from father Abba to entire principalities and nations on land called earth beginning as a doer of the word my word must go forth advanced violation is you in purgatory Hence, for nations will no longer be nations. Stop lying. My righteous rule is law. Deny my name, true name, and death shall be upon their heads. Deliverance. That's the word that he gave me, deliverance. It's a side note. It's still a part of the prophetic word, but it's a side note. Do not lead my captives into fiery pit towards hell. Hell's furnace and darkness pit of utter cold, unrefined purgatory. You will be judged. Selah, for Yahuwah has spoken. The two scriptures Yahuwah gave me is Jude chapter 1, it's the entire chapter of Jude. I'm going to go ahead and read that, it's a whole entire book. Here we go. The Epistle of Jude, one and the only one. Greetings to the called. Jude, a bondservant of Yahusha, Christ, and brother of James. To those who are called, sanctified by Yahuwah the Father and preserved in Yahusha, Christ, mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. Contend for the faith, beloved. While I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all delivered to the saints. For certain men have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were marked, marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men, who turned the grace of our Yahuwah into lewdness and deny the only Lord, Yahuwah, and our Lord, Yahusha, Christ, old and new apostates. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed those who did not believe, and the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode. I'm going to read that again. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode. He has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. As Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities around them in a similar manner, similar manner to these having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these dreamers defile flesh, reject authority and speak evil of indignant, excuse me, speak evil of 
dignitaries. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil, when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, take note of that reviling accusation. The Lord rebuke you. But these speak evil of whatever they do not know, and whatever they know naturally, like brute beast. In these things they corrupt themselves. Woe to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, have run greedily in the air of Balaam for profit, and perished in the rebellion of Korah. Apostates depraved and doomed. These are spots in your love feast. While they feast with you without fear, serving only themselves, they are clouds without water, carried about by the wind, late autumn trees without fruit, twice dead, pulled up by the roots. Wow. Raging waves of the sea, foaming up their own shame, wandering stars, for whom in reserve the blackness of darkness forever. Now Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about these men, also saying, Behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have committed in ungodly ways, of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Apostates predicted, these are grumblers, complainers, walking according to their own lust and they mouth great swelling words, flattering people to gain advantage. But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Yahusha Christ. How they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own ungodly lust. These are sensual spirits who cause divinations, not having the spirit. Maintain your life with Yahuwah, but you, beloved, building yourself up on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of Yahuwah, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahusha, Christ, unto eternal life. And on some have compassion, making a distinction, but others save with fear pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments defiled by the flesh. Glory to Yahuwah. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the present of his glory with exceeding joy. To Yahuwah our Savior. That'd be Yahusha. So Yahusha our Savior. Who alone is wise, be glory and majesty. So that's about the Holy Spirit dominion and power both now and forever amen and i will explain this once i end it zephaniah chapter 5 1 through 15 Let's see where i'm on my time Sorry, not five, it's three. Give me one second how I wrote this here. Zephaniah three. One through 15. Woe to her who is rebellious and polluted to the oppressing city. So that was Zephaniah chapter three, one through 15. She has not obeyed his voice. She has not received correction. Turn off my car. She has not trusted in the Lord. She has not drawn near to her Yahuwah. Her princes in her midst are roaring lions. Her judge, judges are even evening wolves that leave not a bone till morning her prophet and insolent treacherous people her priests have polluted the sanctuary sanctuary they have done violence in to the law the lord is righteous in her midst he will do no unrighteousness every morning he brings 
his justice to light. He never fails, but the unjust knows no shame. I have cut off nations, their fortress and devas are devastated. I have made their streets desolate, with none passing by. Their cities are destroyed. There is no one, no inhabitant. I said, surely you will fear me. You will receive instruction so that her dwelling would not be cut off, despite everything for which I punished her. But they rose early and corrupted all their deeds, a faithful remnant. Therefore, wait for me, says the Lord, until the day I rise up for plunder. My determination is to gather the nations to my assembly of, of kingdoms, to pour on them my indignation, all my fierce anger. All the earth will be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For they I will restore to the peoples a pure language, that they all may call on the name of Yahuwah to serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my worshipers, the daughters of my dispersed ones, shall bring my offerings. In that day you shall not be ashamed for any of your deeds, in which you transgress against me, for then I will take away from your midst those who rejoice in your pride. And you shall no longer be haughty in my holy mountain. I will leave in your midst a meek and humble people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. Israel shall do no unrighteousness and speak no lies, nor shall deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed their flock and lie down, and no one shall make them afraid. Joy in Yahuwah's faithfulness. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughters of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, and the Lord has taken away your judgment. He has cast out your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord is in your midst. You shall see disaster no more. So, and I, I like I said, I'm coming down. And that's the end, excuse me, the end. So now let's talk about it since I can interpret visions, prophetic word and so forth. I want to get into this and I'm really, oh, I slept for 11 hours. The headache is still there a little bit. So I still have some spiritual warfare going on and some uh, inflammation in my body and so forth. So cast out these wicked demons around me. So let's um, talk about this. Normally I just say it, I'm going to, I'm going to explain something. This is the fallen angels I'm talking about falling stars, falling angels. So when Enoch, so back in Genesis, Enoch walking with understanding these were, these were all around him, including family, right? Son of Cain. So here's the thing, the demonic entities, the principality. So now the most high is not just talking to nations. He's not just talking to those in high places. He's talking to principalities of the air. He's, he's telling the demonic entities. He's telling Satan, Hey, Hey, buddy, you're done. You're done. So I don't have much time to say this. So Jude 1 is talking about defiling flesh. These are sensual spirits. It doesn't say sensual people. It says sensual spirits. So you have your incubus, your succubus, your Jezebel, jealousy spirit, marine spirits that are coming and walking about the earth now in people's flesh. <clears throat> Having the, the, the jab has caused the rebellion to increase on a level of zombiness to where the flesh they're wanting to eat. So there, there's a lot more going on with prostitution, a lot more going on with child abduction, a lot more going on with violence and stabbing and raping and murdering and dismemberment of bodies. They're trying to take over the souls and possess them. So they have to do that again. It, it, they're dry. They're looking for somewhere wet to go into. So they need a body with blood fluid. Okay. So that's your plasma. And so that plasma, um, is being corrupted by the demons of the air. Okay. Um, most high is saying there's no longer going to be nations. Stop lying. The righteous world's law. So what he's saying is you're not going to have nations. This whole prophecy, everything's going into fulfillment, whether the mark of the beast, the um, the Antichrist, the um, son of perdition, everything is coming into full understanding of Jude before Revelation. So what happened in Genesis with Sodom and Gomorrah is the same thing taking place in Jude before Revelation. It's all, it's all a transcript leading up to the final day of the Lord. And that's when his, his righteous ones, so 10,000. So, um, and I know, and I, I'm in that war. 
So if you know you're in that war and this has been a preparation, you're getting ready, you're in interested in swords and you're interested in fighting for Yahusha, you know, you, you've seen dreams of horses, you've seen dreams in heaven coming down, riding down, slaying demons, all kinds of things like that. Uh, that's an indication you're a part of that last final war. So that's, that's something separate, but it is talking about that in Jude. Um, excuse me, not Jude, in Zephaniah that I just read. Um, his name is Yahuwah. You can call him most time. His, his whole name is Yahuwah. Yahuwah. So Yahuwah is saying, deny my name and death shall come upon your head. So they're trying to basically make man their God. And that's what he's saying. He's saying, you're about to go into purgatory forever and ever and ever. The Most High is speeding up that process in the prophecy of saying right now. Normally I get a warning of if you don't repent. No, this is, he's already decided. So purgatory, no joke. And I don't usually use the word purgatory and it's not usually given to me in understanding. So this is amazing to me. That means the Most High is taking it to an to understanding of there's so much darkness around which is why a lot of us get a lot of spiritual warfare and they try to prick us, do, do the little pricking and the death warrants on us and all kinds of things. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let, uh, go ahead. I'll be uploading this a little later today with the laundromat. I am not feeling good. I'm trying to come out of this. <sighs> Lots of ice water. And following what the Most High is telling me. And so... Um, rest is really important when you go under spiritual warfare, um, especially when you have to give a message. They attack, and right now I'm dealing with um, the Jezebel jealousy spirit and um, marine spirits, excuse me, not marine, monitoring spirits and um, death warrants on my actual life, actual death on my life <laughs> right now because I'm going to go into another level understanding in heavenly tongue and purpose and so they're they're after me they're messing with my hair and all kinds of things so doing my work here that I have to do through Yahusha walk as him <clears throat> do what I need to do and have that divine understanding so I want to share that with you guys with that being said shalom I love you all with agape of Christ until the next one